This video is going to show you how to apply a blur in LumaFusion. I've had a few people ask me about this now. In traditional editing software, you are able to use a mask to apply a blur. That's the most typical way of doing it. However, in LumaFusion, we're not able to apply a mask. So we have to get a little bit creative with it. Uh, I have uh, grabbed a report here, just a random report, um, and I'm going to use this little section to apply a blur. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your video, whatever you need to blur out, is selected. Uh, you're going to create a copy of it and put it directly over top. Just like that. Okay, then you're going to take the top layer and you're going to hit your pencil tool, uh, go into your color and effects. In the top right, you're going to see a little raindrop or a droplet. Uh, click that and then you're going to apply a blur. Uh, Gaussian 20 usually works fine. Um, you know, if you think that it's too blurry, you can try a, a Gaussian 10. If it's not blurry enough, you can try 40. It doesn't really matter. It's it's personal preference, but I would say at the end of the day, make sure whatever you need blurred is properly blurred and viewers can't tell uh, what it is behind the blur. Uh, so next thing you're going to do is you're going to open up the cropping section on the right side, uh, and then you're going to just basically begin to fit that top layer. So as you see, as I move some of these sliders on the right side, the image that's behind the blurred image comes into view and the blurred image becomes more of a smaller um, portion of the frame. Um, now I use the sliders, you can also just use um, the actual box in the preview area. Another thing you can do is apply some edge softness. It just helps to massage it into the uh, f into the frame a little bit better um, it just becomes a little less abrupt when you do that and then I'll, as well with uh, corner radius uh, makes it a little more circular um, and you just kind of play around with that you can move the mass or well the layer around um, and and you can tweak it here or there um, until you have it perfect so the next thing you're going to want to do is if there's any movement on your video, you're going to want to make sure that the blur covers that entire movement as well. Now, I'm going to say this. Make your life easier, please. And try and choose video that doesn't move very much um, if you have to blur. If, if, you can, if you even know ahead of hand that you're going to have to blur something, just only use locked off shots. It will make your life so much easier in editing. Uh, so with that said, this this um, image that I used, or sorry, this video that I used, it does have a little bit of movement on it. Not very much. Uh, so I'm just going to check it here just by sliding back and forth. It looks fine. I'm happy with it. And then you go back and you can check it in your story. And it looks pretty good. I don't think anyone's going to know who that guy is if they watch this story. And that's all there is to it.